<laughs> I know, right? It's so funny, and wait, there's yeah, a story um, I've been meaning to tell you, yeah. and it's... It, it, hello? 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 Uh, hello? Yeah! Yes, so you know what I told him? I said... Oh. Huh? Uh, 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 it was so annoying. I was talking to Mia a while ago uh, and... Uh, huh? Yeah, no. Yeah. Shut, 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 shut. What a hassle. Call cutters aren't the best people to talk to, and they can be anyone you know. Don't be fooled by what they say or what they do. As you've seen, they can be very creative when it comes to ending calls. But here's the thing, a call is not just a call. It's a way to connect to people. So come on, we all deserve at least a decent goodbye. One or two words of kindness go a long way, literally. If you don't believe me, check this out. Here we are at the base station, your phone's connection to the network. Right outside is the base station controller, which connects you to the base station with the strongest signal. It's a simple foodie analogy. The waiters are like your base stations. They take your orders and pass them on to the kitchen. In the same way that the base station establishes the call and patches you through to the network. The manager, on the other hand, makes sure every table is taken care of. Just like how a base station controller makes sure every caller is connected to a base station. Now if you're wondering about weak signal, look at it from this perspective. Say it's lunchtime or dinner and the restaurant reaches maximum capacity. It can be difficult to manage all the orders. The same thing can happen to base stations. When there are too many subscribers within a base station's area, the BSC will have a hard time assigning radio channels to all of them, especially if everyone is trying to connect at the same time. How about when you're in transit? Well, this is the time when a base station controller needs to do a handover. The BSC always connects you to the nearest base station with the strongest signal. As you travel away from BTSA, your call is handed over to another one closer to you, BTSB, to ensure strong connection. Now, if the base station you're transferred to is full, the call won't be able to get through, which results in dropped calls. Oh, and if you or the person you're calling is beyond the base station's coverage area, then most likely you won't be able to connect and all you'll hear is this. The subscriber cannot be reached. Please try again later. Your BTSs are very important since they control the signal in your area. If it fluctuates and becomes really weak, it could be due to interference caused by illegal repeaters. These are devices people put up to improve the signal in their area. The problem is that these antennas and wireless adapters hog bandwidth from cell sites, which interferes with the services of other network users. So there you have it, the science behind a call. See what you have to go through to connect to someone? Now if all you're going to do is cut someone off like this, this, or this, then maybe it's best to not call at all. 